Abruzzo, Italian, Abruzzo, Aquiliano, Abruzzo is a region of southern Italy with an area of 10,763 square km 4,156 square miles and a population of 1.2 million. It is divided into four provinces, L'Aquila, Teramo, Pescara, and Chieti. Its western border lies 80 km 50 miles east of Rome. Abruzzo borders the region of Marche to the north, Lazio to the west and southwest, Molise to the southeast, and the Adriatic Sea to the east. Geographically, Abruzzo is divided into a mountainous area in the west, which includes the Gran Sasso d'Italia, and a coastal area in the east with beaches on the Adriatic Sea. Abruzzo is considered a region of southern Italy in terms of its culture, language, history and economy, although geographically it may also be considered central. The Italian Statistical Authority deems it to be part of southern Italy, partly because of Abruzzo's historic association with the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. Abruzzo is known as the greenest region in Europe, as almost half of its territory, the largest in Europe, is set aside as national parks and protected nature reserves. There are three national parks, one regional park, and 38 protected nature reserves. These ensure the survival of 75% of Europe's living species, including rare species such as the small wading dotteral, the golden eagle, the abruzzo or abruzzese, chamois, the Apennine wolf and the Marsican brown bear. Abruzzo is also home to Calderone, Europe's southernmost glacier. The visiting 19th century Italian diplomat and journalist Primo Levi (1853–1917) said that the adjectives "forte e gentile." Strong and gentle best describe the beauty of the region and the character of its people. Forte e gentile has since become the motto of the region and its inhabitants. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Provinces and politics. Topic: <laughs> 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 Provinces. Abruzzo is divided into four administrative provinces. Topic. Politics Topic. History Human settlements in Abruzzo have existed since at least the Neolithic times. A skeleton from Lama dei Pelagni in the province of Chieti dates back to 6540 BC under radiometric dating. The name Abruzzo appears to be derivative of the Latin word, Aprucium". In Roman times, the region was known as Piscinum, Sabina et Samnium, Flaminia et Piscinum, and Campania et Samnium. The region was known as Aprucium in the Middle Ages, arising from four possible sources. It is a combination of Pretutium, or rather of the name of the people Pretuti, applied to their chief city, Interemnia, the old Teramo. Until 1963, it was part of the Abruzzi region with Molise. The term, Abruzzi, derives from the time when the region was part of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. The territory was administered as Abruzzo Sidoriori nearer Abruzzo and Abruzzo Ulteriori I and II farther Abruzzo I and II from Naples, the capital of the kingdom. Abruzzo Sidoriori is now Chieti province. Abruzzo Ulteriori I comprised the Teramo and Pescara provinces. Abruzzo Ulteriori II is now the province of L'Aquila. The city of Corfinio, known as Corfinium in ancient Italy, is situated in the province of Abruzzo Ulteriori II. Corfinio is the chief city of the Pilani, 7 meters n, of Sulmona in the valley of the Eternus. The village of Pentama occupies the site of the original town. Sulmona probably became subject to Rome in the 4th century BC, though it does not appear in Roman history before the Social War, in which it was at first adopted by the Allies as the capital and seat of government. It appears also as a fortress of importance in the Civil War, though it resisted Caesar's attack for a week 49 BC. These people were honored by Caesar as citizens of Rome. It is said that the name, Italia, came from this region because of ancient coins that have been found here that date from about the 1st century BC. These coins have the name, Italia, on them and are apparently proof of this fact. This theory of the origin of the name, Italia, is debated by scholars, archaeologists, and history itself. The late archaeologist Massimo Palatino claimed that the name was derived from the Italic tribes that settled in modern Calabria. But it was not until the time of the Roman conquests that the term was expanded to cover the entire peninsula. Geography 
Geographically, Abruzzo is located in central Italy and southern Italy, stretching from the heart of the Apennines to the Adriatic Sea, and includes mainly mountainous and wild land. The mountainous island is occupied by a vast plateau, including Gran Sasso, at 2,912 metres 9 feet the highest peak of the Apennines, and Mount Magella at 2,793 metres 9 feet. The Adriatic coastline is characterized by long sandy beaches to the north and pebbly beaches to the south. Abruzzo is well known for its landscapes and natural beauties, parks and nature reserves, characteristic hillside areas rich in vineyards and olive groves, and one of the highest densities of blue flag beaches. Topic: <laughs> Climate. The Abruzzo region has two types of climate that are strongly influenced by the Apennine Mountains, dividing the climate of the coastal and sub-Apennine hills from the interior's high mountain ranges. Coastal areas have a Mediterranean climate with hot dry summers and mild winters and rainy hills with a sublittoral climate where temperatures decrease progressively with increasing altitude and precipitation with altitude. Precipitation is also strongly affected by the presence of the Apennines mountain ridges of the region, it increases with the proportion being more abundant in the field and on the slopes exposed to the west, instead of decreasing towards the east and east facing slopes. Often the Adriatic coast or sidelined rainfall from the west to the barrier effect of the Apennines undergoing the action of gentle winds descending from it or Lebecchio. The minimum annual rainfall, however, is found in some inland valleys, sheltered from much disturbance to the blocking action of mountain ridges, such as the Pelina Valley, or the Valley of the River Torino, which in some places Ofena, Capistrano, showed barely 500 mm inches, and not along the coast where it never falls below 600 mm .6 inches, for if Taramo is relatively little watered by rain Taramo less than 800 mm .5 inches, the meter is exceeded in Chieti, reaching maximum levels in the Adriatic, while between Ortona and Vasto in Costa dei Trabacci decrease again. The highest rainfall occurs in upland areas on the border with Lazio, they are especially vulnerable to Atlantic disturbances. Around 1,500 to 2,000 mm to 79 inches of precipitation is typical Pescara in 2010 showed a value close to 2,800 mm inches. Topic. Flora and fauna As with many Mediterranean regions, Abruzzo's vegetation is characterized by different Mediterranean ecosystems. The coast and the surrounding areas are characterized by the presence of typical plants of Mediterranean shrubland, such as myrtle, heather and mastic, while in the hilly areas other species grow, including olive, pine, willow, oak, poplar, alder, arbutus, broom, acacia, capers, rosemary, hawthorn, licorice and almond trees, interspersed with oak trees. At elevations between 600 and 1,000 meters (2,000 and 3,300 feet), there is sub-montane vegetation, mainly characterized by mixed forests of oak and turkey oak, maple and hornbeam. Shrubs include dog rose and red juniper. Elevations between 1,000 and 1,900 meters (3,300 and 6,200 feet) are dominated by beech trees. In the Apennine Mountains at elevations above 2,000 meters 6, feet species include alpine orchid, mountain juniper, silver fir, black cranberry and the Abruzzo edelweiss. The fauna of Abruzzo is highly varied, including the region's symbol, the Abruzzo chamois which has recovered from near extinction. Animals typical of this region include, Marsican brown bear, along with Italian wolf, deer, lynx, roe deer, snow vole, fox, porcupine, wild cat, wild boar, badger, otter, and viper. The natural parks of the region include the Abruzzo National Park, the Gran Sasso and Monte della Laga National Park, the Maiella National Park and the Sarant Valino Regional Park, as well as many other natural reserves and protected areas. Economy Until a few decades ago, Abruzzo was a region of poverty in southern Italy. Over the past decades, however, it has developed to such an extent that it has escaped from the spiral of underdevelopment to become the first region of the Italian Mezzogiorno. This confirms its pivotal role in the national economic system. Since the 1950s, Abruzzo has had steady economic growth. 
In 1951, Abruzzo per capita income or GDP was 53% of that of northern Italy, the nation's richest region. By 1971, Abruzzo was at 65% and, by 1994, per capita income was at 76% of northern Italy's per capita income, giving Abruzzo the highest per capita GDP of southern Italy and surpassing the growth of every other region of Italy. The construction of superhighways from Rome to Teramo and Rome to Pescara opened Abruzzo to easy access. State and private investment in the region increased, and Abruzzo attained higher per capita education levels and greater productivity growth than the rest of the South. As of 2003, Abruzzo's per capita GDP was €19,506 or 84% of the national average of €23,181 and well outpacing that of the South the region's average GDP per capita was approximately €20,100. The 2009 L'Aquila earthquake led to a sharp economic slowdown. However, according to statistics at the end of 2010, it seems that the economy of Abruzzo is recovering, despite the negative on regarding employment. In fact, at the end of 2010, Abruzzo's growth was 1.47%, which placed it fourth among the Italian regions with the highest annual growth rates after Lazio, Lombardy and Calabria. In 2011 Abruzzo's economic growth was plus 2.3%, the highest percentage among the regions of southern Italy. The region is also the richest region of southern Italy, with a GDP per capita of €21,574. Abruzzo's industrial sector expanded rapidly, especially in mechanical engineering, transportation equipment and telecommunications. The structure of production in the region reflects the transformation of the economy from agriculture to industry and services. Although industry has developed strongly, it retains weak points due to the existence of only a few large businesses alongside a huge fabric of small and medium-sized businesses. Both pure and applied research are carried out in the region, where there are major institutes and factories involved in research in the fields of pharmaceutics, biomedicine, electronics, aerospace and nuclear physics. The industrial infrastructure is spread throughout the region in industrial zones. The most important of these are, Val Pescara, Val Sangro, Val Trigno, Val Vibrata and Conca del Fucino. A further activity worthy of note is seaside and mountain tourism, which is of considerable importance to the economy of the region. Agriculture, involving small holdings, has succeeded in modernizing and offering high-quality products. The mostly small, agricultural holdings produce, wine, cereals, sugar beet, potatoes, olives, vegetables, fruit and dairy products. Traditional products are saffron and licorice. Most famous in the world is Abruzzo's wine Montepulciano di Abruzzo. In the late 20th and early 21st century, Montepulciano di Abruzzo earned a reputation as being one of the most widely exported dock classed wine in Italy. In the past decade, tourism has increased, in particular by internal and European arrivals. Abruzzo is world famous for its wildlife parks Abruzzo National Park, Gran Sasso and Monte della Laga National Park, Maiella National Park and Regional Park Sarant Valino, and 38 protected areas between oasis, regional reserves, and state reserves. The inland mountainous region contains several ski resorts, and coastal tourism is also well developed, in particular, the Trabacci Coast, a very picturesque stretch of coastline known for the ancient fishing machines that can still be seen by tourists. Abruzzo's wealth of castles and medieval towns, especially around the town of L'Aquila, has earned it in some quarters the nickname of Abruzzoshire, by analogy with the Chantashire, nickname sometimes used to refer to the Chiani area of Tuscany, but Abruzzo is still off the beaten path for most visitors to Italy. <laughs> Demographics Although the population density of Abruzzo has increased over recent decades, it is still well below the Italian national average. In 2008, 123.4 inhabitants per square kilometer, compared to 198.8. In the provinces, the density varies. As of 2008, Pescara is the most densely populated with 260.1 inhabitants per square kilometer, whereas L'Aquila is the least densely populated with 61.3 inhabitants per square kilometer, although it has the largest area. After decades of emigration from the region, the main feature of the 1980s is immigration from third world countries. 
The population increase is due to the positive net migration. Since 1991 more deaths than births were registered in Abruzzo except for 1999, when their numbers were equal. In 2008, the Italian National Institute of Statistics ISTAT estimated that 59,749 foreign-born immigrants live in Abruzzo, equal to 4.5% of the total regional population. The most serious demographic imbalance is between the mountainous areas of the interior and the coastal strip. The largest province, L'Aquila, is situated entirely in the interior and has the lowest population density. The movement of the population of Abruzzo from the mountains to the sea has led to the almost complete urbanization of the entire coastal strip especially in the province of Teramo and Chieti. The effects on the interior have been impoverishment and demographic aging, reflected by an activity rate in the province of L'Aquila which is the lowest among the provinces in Abruzzo, accompanied by geological degradation as a result of the absence of conservation measures. In the coastal strip, however, there is such a jumble of accommodations and activities that the environment has been negatively affected. The policy of providing incentives for development has resulted in the setting up of industrial zones, some of which Vasto, Avizano, Carsoli, Gissi, Val Vibrata, Val di Sangro have made genuine progress, while others Val Pescara, L'Aquila have run into trouble after their initial success. The zones of Salmona and Guardiagrele have turned out to be more or less failures. Outside these zones, the main activities are agriculture and tourism. Topic. Main settlements L'Aquila is both the capital city of the Abruzzo region and of the province of L'Aquila and second largest city population L'Aquila was hit by an earthquake on 6 April 2009, which destroyed much of the city centre. The other provincial capitals are Pescara, which is Abruzzo's largest city and major port population 123,000, Teramo population 55,000 and Chieti population 55,000. Other large municipalities in Abruzzo include Avizzano population 41,000. An industrial and high-tech center, Vasto population 40,636, Lanciano population 36,000, and Salmona population 25,000 are three important industrial and touristic centers. Transport Airports Abruzzo International Airport is the only international airport in the region. Open to civilian traffic since 1996, the number of passengers has increased over the years because of low-cost air carriers' use of the facility. Today, the airport has a catchment area of over 500,000 passengers annually and connects the city of Pescara and the entire region with many Italian and Europe destinations. L'Aquila Pretoro Airport is located in the nearby village of Quartz and was recently renovated and modernized to accommodate presidential flights for G8 activities. Topic: <laughs> Ports. There are four main ports in Abruzzo: Pescara, Ortona, Vasto, and Giulianova. Over the years, the port of Pescara became one of the most important tourist ports of Italy and the Adriatic Sea. Heavily damaged in World War II, it underwent some 60 years of major restoration and was reborn as a modern marina with advanced moorings and shipbuilding facilities. It has been honored with the European Union's blue flag for the quality of services offered. The port of Pescara has lost passenger traffic because of its shallowness and silting, but its fishery and aquaculture activities are thriving. Railways. <inaudible> 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 There is a significant disparity between the railways of the Abruzzo coast and the inland areas, which badly need modernization to improve the service, in particular, the Rome-Pescara line. Existing railway lines Adriatic Railway runs through the whole of Italy from north to south, along the Adriatic Sea. Train Rome, Sulmona, Pescara Sulmona, Carpinone Sulmona Terna Railway Avizzano Railroad, Roccasecca Giulianova, Teramo, Sangratana, Lanciano, Castel di Sangro. Topic: Highways. There are three highways that serve the region. 
Highway A24 Rome, L'Aquila, Teramo, was built in the 1970s and connects Rome with Lazio and more specifically to the Abruzzo Teramo via L'Aquila. It performs an important liaison function of the region, both Tyrrhenian to the Adriatic, due to the presence of several interchanges of connecting roads and highways. The Grand Sasso Tunnel, the longest road tunnel entirely on Italian territory, was opened in 1984. It connects L'Aquila and Teramo on the A24, making the northern Abruzzo coast reachable within two hours from Rome. Highway A25 Turin Avezzano Pescara makes the connection between Rome and Pescara. The road running out of Turin begins its journey where it branches off the A24, runs into the Conca del Fucino, crosses the Abruzzo Apennines, comes to the valley of Pelina, and ends at the exit for Pescara Villanova to join the A14. Motorway A14 Bologna – Taranto known as the A14 – Adriatica – includes 743 kilometers (461.68 miles) of road, including lengths in the cities of Bologna and Taranto. Opened to traffic in 1965, it is now a major tourist road, running through the coastal towns of Emilia-Romagna, Marche, Abruzzo, Molise, and Apulia. Culture. The Museum Museo Archeologico Nazionale di Abruzzo in Chieti houses the famed warrior statue Warrior of Capistrano which was found in a necropolis from 6th century BC of cultural importance are, Teramo Cathedral, its archaeological museum and Roman theatre, the Castello della Monica, the Colorania Teramo Observatory, the famous L'Aquila Basilica of Santa Maria di Colomaggio which holds the remains of Pope Celestine V, the Museo Nazionale di Abruzzo, Santa Maria del Suffragio, the Forte Spagnolo, the Fountain of 99 Spouts, Gabriele D'Annunzio's house in Pescara, Campli's Scala Sancta and its church, the Church of Santissima Annunziata in Salmona, the cathedrals of Chieti, Lanciano, Guardia Grele, Atri and Pescara along with the castles of Ortona, Chilano and Ortuccio. Every August 28–29, L'Aquila's Santa Maria di Colomaggio commemorates the Pertinanza Celestiniana, the indulgence issued by Pope Celestine V to any who, truly repentant and confessed, would visit that church from the Vespers of the Vigil to the Vespers of 29 August. Sulmona's Holy Week is commemorated with traditional celebrations and rituals, such as La Madonna Che Scappa in Piazza, where a large statue of the Madonna, carried by a group of Sulmonisi part of confraternities, is taken through the square towards her resurrected son. Cocculo, in the province of L'Aquila, holds the annual Festa dei Serpari festival of snake handlers in which a statue of Saint Dominic, covered with live snakes, is carried in a procession through the town. It attracts thousands of Italian and foreign visitors. In many Abruzzo villages, Anthony the Great's feast is celebrated in January with massive and scenic bonfires. In the past, the region of Abruzzo was well known for the Transamanza, the migratory movement of sheep principally south to the region of Puglia during the cold winter months. The feast of Saint Biagio, protector of wool dealers, is the most widespread in Abruzzo. On 3 February in Taranta Pelina every year since the 16th century an evocative ritual is carried out, entailing the distribution of panicelle, which are small loaves made of flour and water, in the shape of a blessing hand, which are distributed to the faithful. Between the province of Taramo and L'Aquila, under the Gran Sasso Tunnel, is the Laboratori Nazionale del Gran Sasso of the INFN, one of the three underground astroparticle laboratories in Europe. Interamnia World Cup, the largest international youth handball competition worldwide, takes place yearly in Teramo. Historical figures include the Roman orator Asinius Pollio, Latin poets Sallust and Ovid, who were born in L'Aquila and Sulmona respectively, Gaius Cassius Longinus, Roman senator and leading instigator of the plot to kill Julius Caesar, and Pontius Pilate, who was born in the province of Teramo and is best known for authorizing the crucifixion of Jesus. Abruzzo's religious personalities include Saint Berardo, John of Capistrano, who led a crusade against the Ottoman Empire, Thomas of Chilano, author of three hagiographies about Saint Francis of Assisi, and Alessandro Valignano, who introduced Catholicism to the Far East and Japan. The Polish Pope John Paul II loved the mountains of Abruzzo, where he would retire often and pray in the church of San Pietro della Ienca. When he died, Cardinal Stanislaw Jawiz, gave the local Abruzzo community some of the late pontiff's blood as a token of the love he had felt for the mountainous area. 
The greatest Italian poet of the 20th century Gabriele D'Annunzio was from Pescara. Other notable Abruzzo personalities in the field of humanities include, poet Ignazio Silone, director Ennio Flaiano who co-wrote La Dolce Vita, philosopher Benedetto Croce, composer Sir Paolo Tosti and the sculptor Venanzo Crosetti. American artists and celebrities such as, Madonna, Dean Martin, Bradley Cooper, Perry Como, Henry Mancini, Nancy Pelosi, Rocky Marciano, Rocky Mattioli, Bruno Sammartino, Mario Batali, John and Dan Fanti, Tommy Lasorda, Dan Marino, Mario Lanza, Gary Marshall, Penny Marshall, Al Martino, Ariana Grande and Canadian Michael Buble have Abruzzo origins. Some international movies shot in Abruzzo include The American, Jean-Jacques Anno's The Name of the Rose, Fellini's La Strada and I Vitaloni, Schwarzenegger's Red Sonia, Ladyhawk, King David, Francesco, Kioma, The Barbarians, The Fox and the Child and Kroll. <laughs> Medieval and Renaissance hill towns For most of its history, a large number of the Abruzzese people were, and still are, a hill people, often working as shepherds in mountainous areas, or establishing hill towns, especially in the parts of Abruzzo further from the Adriatic coast. Before the 2009 earthquake, Abruzzo was the region with the highest number of castles and hill towns in Italy, but it still holds many of Italy's best preserved medieval and Renaissance hill towns, 20 of which are designated as the most beautiful villages in Italy, second only to Umbria, which has 22. These awards are not only for aesthetic beauty but also for art and culture, historical importance and livability. The abrupt decline of Abruzzo's agricultural economy in the early to mid-20th century saved some of the region's most beautiful hill towns from the onslaught of modern development. Many lie entirely within regional and national parks. Among the most well-preserved are Castel del Monte and Santo Stefano di Sassanio, which lie in the Gran Sasso National Park on the edge of the high plain of Campo Imperatore and nestled beneath the Apennines' highest peaks. Both hill towns, which were ruled by the Medicis for over a century and a half, have relatively little tourism. Between the two towns sits Rocca Calicio, the ruin of an ancient fortress popular with filmmakers. Both Monteferrante and Roccascalegna are two of the most representative Abruzzo villages in the province of Chieti. Within the Gran Sasso National Park is also found Castelli, an ancient pottery center whose artisans produced ceramics for most of the royal houses of Europe. Civitella del Tronto played a crucial role in the history of the unification of Italy. The fortress of Civitella is the most visited monument in the Abruzzo region today. Other medieval hill towns located fully within Abruzzo's park system are Pacentro in the Maiella National Park and Pescasaroli in the Abruzzo National Park. Pacentro, which features a 14th-century castle with two intact towers, has been little touched by modernization. The Shrine of Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows, in the province of Taramo, which attracts some two million visitors per year, is one of the 15 most visited sanctuaries in the world. Capistrano, a small town in the province of L'Aquila, is the hometown of St. John of Capistrano, Franciscan friar and Catholic priest, as well as the namesake of the Franciscan missions San Juan Capistrano in Southern California, the Mission Mission San Juan Capistrano Texas, and the city of San Juan Capistrano in Orange County. Giulianova is a notable example of a Renaissance ideal city. The proximity to Rome, the protected natural reserves and landscapes which make the region one of the greenest in Europe, the presence of some of the most beautiful Italian villages, its rich and heterogeneous gastronomy, along with a long history of deep-rooted local tradition and authentic Italian culture, make Abruzzo fifth among Italian regions for tourist visits after Calabria, Marche, Sardinia and Trentino. In 2010, visitors included 6,381,067 Italians and 925,884 foreign tourists. In 2015, the American organization Live and Invest Overseas included Abruzzo on its list of world's top 21 overseas retirement havens. The study was based on such factors as climate, infrastructure, health care, safety, taxes, cost of living, and more. In 2017 the Chamber of Commerce of Pescara presented Abruzzo region to the annual conference of Live and Invest Overseas in Orlando, USA. One year later, in October 2018, Live and Invest Overseas held its first conference in Abruzzo. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Universities. 
There are three universities in the Abruzzo region University of L'Aquila, D'Annunzio University of Chieti Pescara, University of Teramo. Harvard University bases an intensive summer Italian language and culture program in Vasto, a resort town on Abruzzo's southern coast. Dialects <inaudible> 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 The regional dialects of Abruzzo include Terramano, Abruzzese Oriental Adriatico and Abruzzese Occidentale. The first two form part of the dialect of southern Italy also known simply as Neapolitan, since the region has been part of the Kingdom of Naples and the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, while Aquilano is related to the central Italian dialects including Romanesco. The dialects spoken in the Abruzzo region can be divided into three main groups. Sabine dialect, in the province of L'Aquila Central Italian dialects Abruzzo-Adriatic dialect, in the province of Teramo, Pescara and Chieti, that is virtually abandoned in the province of Ascoli Pacino Southern Italian dialects Abruzzo-Western dialect, in the province of L'Aquila Southern Italian dialects Topic. Cuisine Renowned for its variety and richness due to the heterogeneity of its territory, Abruzzo's cuisine is among the best in Italy. In 2013 an Italian organization Confessorsenti survey of foreign tourists showed that Abruzzo is the best Italian region to eat in. Both the agricultural and coastal aspects of Abruzzo have contributed to its cuisine. Due to the mountains, much of Abruzzo was isolated from international influence until the 20th century. As a result, the region's cuisine remained unique. Topic. Popular dishes One of the most popular regional dishes is spaghetti alla chitara which is made by pressing or cutting pasta through a chitara, an implement to form long thin noodles similar to spaghetti. The pasta is served with a tomato-based sauce, often flavored with peppers, pork, goose, or lamb. This dish is complemented by regional side dishes, such as the bean and noodle soup, sanya e fagioli. This soup is traditionally flavored with tomatoes, garlic, oil, and pepperoncini. Other popular dishes include gnocchi karate, flavored with bacon, eggs and pecorino cheese. Scripel, a rustic French-style crepe served either m bus a type of soup or used to form a sort of souffle with some ragu and stuffed with chicken liver, meatballs, hard-boiled eggs, and cheese. Pastuccia, a polenta stew with sausage, eggs, and cheese across the region. Roast lamb is enjoyed in several variations. Some of these variations include a rosticini, a skewered lamb dish. Pecora al cadero, lamb stuffed with a variety of mountain herbs and cooked in a copper pot. Lamb cooked whole in a bread oven. And yellow casio eovo, a lamb-based fricassee seafood is also popular, especially in coastal areas. The variety of fish available to the area has resulted in several fish-based brodetti broths, coming from such places as Vasto, Giulianova, and Pescara. These broths are often made by cooking fish, flavored with tomatoes, herbs, and pepperoncino, in an earthenware pot. Rustic pizzas are also very common. Some of these are Easter pizza, a rustic cake with cheese and pepper from the Teramo area. Fiadoni from Chieti, a dough of eggs and cheese well risen, cooked in the oven in a thin casing of pastry. A rustic tart pastry filled with everything imaginable, eggs, fresh cheeses, ricotta, vegetables, and all sorts of flavorings and spices, also from Teramo are the spreadable sausages flavored with nutmeg, and liver sausages tasting of garlic and spices. The ventricina from the Vasto area is made with large pieces of fat and lean pork, pressed and seasoned with powdered sweet peppers and fennel all encased in the dehydrated stomach of the pig itself. Atri and Rivisiondoli are famous for cheeses. Mozzarella, either fresh or seasoned, is made from ewe's milk, although a great number of lesser-known varieties of these cheeses can be found all over Abruzzo and Molise. Sweets The Abruzzo's sweets are world-famous and include Confetti, sugar-coated almonds, from Salmona Toro Nertzia, a chocolate nougat from L'Aquila Perozo, a cake-like treat made from a mixture of crushed almonds, and coated in chocolate. Ferretel, also known as pizzelle. A wafer cookie, often flavored with anise. 
Crocante, a type of nougat made from almonds and caramelized sugar, often flavored with lemon. Topic: <inaudible> Olive oil. The extra virgin olive oil produced in Colleen Terramane, Taramo Hills, is marked by the DOP. The region has several cultivars that includes Carboncella, Drita, Drita Francavillis, and Drita di Moscufo, Gentile del Chieti, Nostrana, Nostrana di Brasiella, and Sargano olive cultivars. Topic: <laughs> Wines and liquors. Renowned wines like Montepulciano di Ocg and Trebbiano di Abruzzo d'Oc are judged to be amongst the world's finest. In 2012, a bottle of Trebbiano di Abruzzo ranked number one in the top 50 Italian wine awards. The region is also well known for the production of liquors such as Centerby, Limoncello, Ritafia, and Genziana. Topic Gallery. Topic. See also List of museums in Abruzzo 2009 L'Aquila earthquake Topic References Topic External links Official site of the regional administration Official Abruzzo tourist board website Map of Abruzzo In the Land of Bears and Castles, Financial Times, 29 June 2007 Italy as it used to be The Guardian, 16 April 2005 Life in Abruzzo, a chronicle of Abruzzo life written from a hill village in the Grand Sasso Mountains Things to do in Abruzzo